Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Samantha. This is the Budget Mum UK and today I am stuffing my week two of March, my first Etsy pay for March as well and just giving you a little bit of an update on some things that's been going on. So you are very, very welcome. Come in. guys if you are new here this channel is all to do with budgeting and finance looking at ways you can save money looking at how you can live quite a decent life without having to spend too much really i'm a single mom to two children a 14 year old and a very nearly two year old and they really like to spend my money for me if i would let them so i've got quite a tight budget having recently given up my full-time teaching job and i now work completely self-employed for myself as a private tutor and consultant as well on top of that, I have some side incomes, so I try to make a little bit of extra cash and I go all through that on my channel here. So if you think that's something of interest to you, then you would be very, very welcome. And I would absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing. And if you are already subscribed, then of course you will know how much I love you. So thank you for that. So today, two things. I'm going to be stuffing my Etsy income. I've just had such a busy week this week. I've not managed to get it into two videos. So I just thought it might be more efficient to get them into both. And I can put them in my envelopes there and do that. Um, I just wanted to make a quick comment though, actually. Um, something that put me off really filming for a few days as well. I got a really sort of a rude comment. I, mean, I know I should expect them. You know, you're on social media and so on. Uh, I just wanted to clarify. Somebody was like, uh, why is your my jumper of my sleeves at the moment i've got a really bad and i don't really want to show you because it uh, doesn't look great on camera i've got a really bad uh I, I call it a lesion mark on my arm and basically the baby at the minute is obsessed with nipping and scratching because he's like nearly two and that's his thing especially when he's going to sleep so he'll constantly nip 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 and scratch so the lesion isn't healing and it just looks really gross anyway so i'm trying i try and cover my out it's just like a, a reflex thing so i cover my hands up quite a bit um and somebody just put something really rude on. They've deleted the comment since I explained why I have my hands on my wrists kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe they just felt a bit daft afterwards. But I just wanted to clarify that's why I put my sleeves up on my hands. Also, if anyone's got any suggestions on how to stop your baby from pinching and nipping, it's honestly agony at the moment. I've, I've tried everything. I've tried bandages. I've tried wraps. I've tried big plastics. I've tried everything over it. But yeah, I need a, I need a a way of stopping it from pinching it's driving me nuts anyway uh yeah please let me know in the comments below it'd be really really appreciated right so before i do my cash stuffing let's have a look at my Etsy income because i'm just going to add that into this week's income which will make it quite a really big amount now to be honest this week hasn't been super busy for Etsy been quite quiet uh in terms of, well i've not been quiet in terms of the things that we're doing i've been busy with it but like they've only been smaller orders compared to previous ones, which is fine because to be honest, I've been busy with other things. With Holly's been at the drama all week and rehearsals have been back and forth for that. So it's been quite crazy. Uh, so that actually came to my account on the 7th. And the amount was just over £50. It was £50 and about £16, I think it was, but I just took 50 out of the bank so let's have a look at the tax for that so the tax is 50 percent of 50 pounds sorry 25 percent of 50 pounds and we'll do that by times in 0.25 which gives us 12.50 and then i reinvest 25 uh, 20 percent gosh what's wrong with me today we invest 20 percent of 50 pounds so i times that by two and that's 10 pounds which means that's 22.50 and my take home pay is 55%. But what I'm actually going to do just to keep it easier this week with just note, I'm just going to take home 50% uh, of that, which is actually 25 pounds. So I'm just going to put down what it actually is. So if I had 50, take away uh, 22.50. Oh gosh, why did I do that? 50, subtract. Yeah, that's right, 22.50 equals 27.50 but we know i'm going to take home 25 rather than messing with that so what does that mean for my income this week it means i've got lots of money to stuff yay me 
My monthly overall was 20,000. 813 pounds which equated once i took off everything because this bill was 1005 and 50 pence so it equated here to 180750 and i rounded and so on and so forth so i got um 450 plus 25 pounds extra which equals £475 for the week to cash stuff. So let me just grab that. Okay, so I should have 475 here, which I'll just check with you. 20, 40, 60, 81, because I'm a nightmare at getting this wrong. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, why have I done it like that again? 60, 75. Okay, so let's have a look where that's going to go. Okay, so as always, before I do my cash stuff in, I always want to check what's happening for the week on the calendar so I know what I've got to prep and plan for, and then those um, envelopes might get more of a priority. So if I have a quick look through, here I've got place that's night to Holly sort of occupied already. I've already bought tickets um, and I'll do that when I do my update. And I've got my brother's birthday, my niece's birthday, and Alex's birthday and a meal. <laughs> so those are going to be my priorities. I do already have a present I can give my niece. Alex, I'll be completely honest, I'm not buying him anything. I managed to get some um, free Thomas the Tank Engine uh, railway stuff, like, God, uh, maybe 18 months ago, they've been in the attic, so they're going to get down, because he's, like, the right age to play with those now, he really likes his trains, and um, I'm just having a garden party, so I will be putting quite a bit more in my food envelope, because I'll go and buy food to do that, uh, it just keeps costs down, but I will need some money for the meal, I've already pre-ordered that, so I know much that's going to cost me as well, and for my brother's birthday, I'm not sure you're able to get them, so I'll have to ask about that, but it's normally not too expensive, maybe around £20. But something that I'll just have to think about when I'm doing my stuff in for now. So, let's have a look. Pop that, come back to that one in a second. So my time for my envelope, I didn't actually spend any more yet, but I'm going to put 20 in there, so... Organise myself. Well, 475 is what we're starting with. And 20 is going in there. So groceries. I've still got some left over. I didn't actually spend any. But I'm going to put, because I do want to do it. I'm going to Costco. Which I don't go very often. Maybe every 6 to 12 months to do a massive shop. Stock up on nappies, washing pound and everything else. So it sort of keeps my weekly cost down. Um, so I'm going to put 100 in there this week and obviously food and bits as well. And that's also where I get my petrol from because it's a little bit cheaper. So I'm gonna put 20 in because petrol prices are shooting up. So that means I put 140 into there, which leaves me with 335 to go over here, which is great. So, um, leaving them into again for a second because I try and put as much as I can in those to the emergency and my debt because I really want to finish those off. We've got 20 going into car. This is actually now my car insurance. Um, Holly, we've got 20. As well, Alexander. School, I'm just going to put this random five in there. What got going on? Gifts, just because it's a busy one. 
I'm going to put this 30 in. The laptop has only got 10 in because I've only just started doing this one, but let's get 20 going in there now. And two of my new envelopes, my new Bo Peep style. I've got my car repairs. Let me get 20. As is my education, because I'm thinking about going back and doing my master's. Um, so at least I've got something in there, even if it's just enough for the application. So let me see how much is in those ones. Um, and then what's left as well. That leaves me with... 20, 40, 60, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80. Let's throw 100 into debt and 80 into my emergency. I'm pretty sure my emergency must almost be there now because where have we gone? Um, it wasn't too far off last month, was it? So I'm hoping to get a thousand in there at some point. And a hundred in there. My debt, and that's just gonna keep chipping away, which is nice. So, let me just double check those numbers so 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 80, 100, 200. Oh, yeah, that's right. Confusing myself there. <laughs> 200. Yeah, 335, I'm right. It's because I always forget to count this at the bottom. So that's where we're up to, all stuffed. And yeah, I've got a video coming out, hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed, about how you can reduce your gas and electricity bills. I'm really mindful that everyone's are just shooting up at the moment. Mine are the same. Um, and I've got some great hints and tips that are really hopefully going to help you with that. So do check that out tomorrow. Hopefully that's going to come out. And in the meantime, have a great night and I will see you really, really soon. Bye.